Okay, are you ready for our space teacher teaching video? And now I told you that I'll teach you proper fraction, improper fraction, and mixed fraction. Now, first, let's see their definition. Now, let's see what is proper fraction. Proper fractions. Fraction where the numerator is lesser than the denominator are called proper fraction. And now, improper fraction. Let's see. Improper fraction. Fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator are called improper fraction. And mixed fraction. When we write the fraction as the mixture of a whole number and, and a fraction, it is called a mixed fraction or a mixed number. Okay. Okay. Now let's see an example for proper fractions. Okay. Let's see. Uh, for proper fractions, first let's see what is the numerator and the denominator. Okay, first I'll teach you what is denominator and numerator and denominator. Uh, for example, uh, I'm writing 2. Can you all see? I'm writing 2. Then I'm writing 5. Okay, and the upper number which is here, this is called numerator. Numerator. This is called numerator. And the down part is called denominator. You should keep in mind the upper number which is here. This is called numerator. And the down part, down number is called denominator. Okay. See. Now proper fraction example. The here only it's example 2 by 4. 2 by 4 means there are 5, 1 pizza. Okay. We will cut it into 5 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, more. We will turn it into 6. 6 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now, it 2. Then the upper number is 2. That's why we should color the circle means there are 6 pieces. In that, I have taken 2 pieces. The denominator is be, uh, the numerator is smaller, lesser than the denominator. This is called proper fractions. Okay. See, I have written two pieces. I have written two pieces in five pieces. Okay. Did you understand? Now, let's go to the improper fractions. Okay. Improper fraction is similar, but that meaning is different. Like, okay, let's see what is that. See, I have been leaving this so two, I write it as ten. See, six is the pieces, but I have taken ten pieces. How is it possible? Because the Numerator is bigger number than the denominator. This is called improper fractions. Okay. Okay, now let's see. We should convert improper fraction to mixed fraction. Let's see how is it. And we also call the mixed fraction as mixed number. But keep in mind you can write mixed fraction also even mixed number also and what we are learning now is so easy converting improper fraction to mixed fraction first in your exam you should write the formula they'll give one and a half mark also for the formula now let's say formula and how to do it first you should all they have like uh, you think that they have given like 15 15 by 7. What is this? It's an improper fraction because the 
Denominator is lesser than the numerator. Okay? Now let's see how to convert. First you should write Q. Q. Is that Q only here? Reminder. Then down here divisor. Now you should write is equals is equals. What is quotient first? Let's divide this. Okay. Seven. Can you all see? Seven divided by fifteen. Okay. Okay. Is there a fifteen in seven table? Let's go to seven. Seven ones are seven. Seven twos are fourteen. Seven threes are twenty one. Twenty one is greater than fifteen. That's why fourteen is lesser than the fifteen. That's why we should take seven. What seven twos are fourteen? Twos are fourteen. And now we should minus this. Okay, five minus four is what? Five minus five minus five, five minus four is equals one, and one minus one is equals to zero. A one is our reminder, and two is our quotient, and seven is our divisor. We'll write here quotient is what two, and what is reminder one, and what is the divisor seven, and this is mixed fraction. Did you all understand now? See, it's so easy, no? That's why it's so easy. Now let's see. How to convert mixed fraction to improper fractions? Okay, first we will write here improper, improper fraction to mixed fraction. Okay, this is this. And now let's learn what I told you. We should convert mixed fractions to improper fraction. And now let's write. They have think that they have given like one whole by by twelve pieces. Is it twelve? Yep, it's twelve by four. Four I have eaten. Okay. The whole they have given twelve pieces for me. I have written in that five pieces. Okay, and now what is the formula for this? For to understand this, we need so many, so much concentration. Please concentrate here. Then it's so it will be so easy. Okay. First, the formula is first you should put is equals a bracket. Write quotient multiplied by divisor. Quotient multiplied by D V R bracket plus reminder. Then down D V R in the same place. D V R. Then next line you should write is equals again the bracket. What is the quotient here? One is a co. One is a quotient. And what is the divisor here? Divisor is twelve. We write here twelve. And now let's put bracket plus. What is the remainder? Five is the remainder. And now we should write the twelve down the twelve only two times. And now after this, after twelve, what we should do? We should add five. After what? After twelve, what will come? Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seven. See, we got seventeen. That's why when we have uh, wrote twelve, and you should write, you should check twelve. We should write it down. Then you should write 
a dash. Then you should write 17. See? This is improper now. What is improper? Which the which the denominator is lesser than the numerator. Okay? And today we learned proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed fraction, converting improper to mixed fraction, converting mixed fraction to improper. See how all we learn today and we like this and was it useful? Comment below and how was it? Comment below and please like, share and subscribe and waiting for your comments and don't forget to click on the bell icon and bye!